Hey guys, welcome to the session. Today, we are going to see how to deploy a React.js application to Azure Cloud using three different ways. Many of the React.js developers know how to develop and run their application in their local PC. But they don't know how to deploy it to a cloud server. First method I am going to explain is using FTP. For the FTP deployment, I will use the tool, FileZilla. Second method is just a drag and drop, using Azure building admin tool called Kudo. This is the simplest method to do the deployment. And the third method is using Azure DevOps. If you are looking for the DevOps deployment, I have a separate video describing the build and release pipelines in detail. Link is mentioned below in the description box. To deploy our application in Azure Cloud, first we require to create one app service. Ok, let's create an Azure App Service, where we can deploy our React application. First log in to Azure Portal. Go to the burger menu and choose, create a new app service. Let's create one resource group named My React App, where we can keep all our resources. Next is the instance name which can be accessed as a public URL. Let's give the name Test React App. Select Run Stack as ASP.NET. This will choose the operating system as Windows. If we are using Linux, the folder structure will be different than which is mentioning in this video. Region, we can keep the same for now. Pricing tier, you can keep F1 which is free. For study purpose F1 is more than enough. Next is monitoring using Application Insights. I am not using it for now. I am leaving the Tags section also. Let's jump to Create and Review. Looks everything fine. Let's click Create button. This will take couple of seconds to create our resources. Let's see the resources which are created now. Right, our website is ready to use. Now our next step is to create our React application in our local PC and deploy it here. Those who know how to create a React.js application and generate a deployable file in their local PC can skip that part. To create a simple React.js application, just follow these steps. Get the Create New React App URL from Google. Also provided the URL in the description below. Let us follow the React.js official site to create our React application. If you are using a Windows PC, there is no change in the commands. We will be using the same commands which are mentioned here. Let's open the terminal. If you are using a Windows PC, you can open the command prompt by typing cmd command. Direct to the specific folder where you want to create your React.js application. Next step is to execute the commands to create our React app. Use npx create react app to create our project and give the project name as my app. This starts creating our React app and may take couple of minutes to complete it. It's created. Let's go inside the folder. Next step is to run our React application in our local PC using npm start command. Cool, our React application is running in our local PC. Let's stop running our React app. Back to our terminal and press Ctrl plus C. If you want, you can open the VS code and see the source code. Here you can see there is a SRC folder. This SRC folder contains the complete source code and cannot use it for deployment. To deploy our React application, first we require to build it. To build the application we can follow the commands which is mentioned here. Type npm run build. It started creating the build. Done. Now it is telling that the build folder is ready to be deployed. Go back to the folder or VS code and see the build folder is created. This is the folder which we require to deploy it to our Azure cloud.
Index.html is the entry point to our application. And here is the source code inside our index.html. So, we created an app service in Azure Cloud, then we created a React.js application in our local PC, and finally we build the React application for deployment. Next step is deployment. First we will do the deployment using FTP. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. This was the traditional deployment approach every developers used to deploy their application to their remote servers. For this FTP deployment we can use the tool FileZilla. This is a very common tool most of them use to deploy their application to a server. Here in Azure, when we use App Service to deploy our React application, we cannot see any virtual machine and its username and password to do the FTP deployment. Let's first see where we can get the FTP path, username and password. First we can download the publisher profile from our Azure App Service. In the overview section of our Test React app we can see there is a Get Publisher Profile link. Click on it, and we'll start downloading the publisher profile. Let's see what is there in the publisher profile. We can see there are a lot of information given there. When developers are using Visual Studio and not VS Code, we have an option to directly use this file to create a publisher profile and deploy the application using FTP. Here we will get the remote server FTP path, username and password. Here is the FTP path which is mentioned as publish URL. Next is username and password. With these three informations, we will be able to do our FTP deployment. Now let's see one more place where we can find the same FTP path, username and password. Back to our Test React app and go to the Deployment Center. Here if we select FTP, it will show you the same information which was there in our publisher profile. Let's copy and keep the details in a text file. Copy our FTP path, now we will use it in our FileZilla tool. Here is our FileZilla tool. First locate our source directory which is the build folder we created with our React application. This folder is our source folder which is there in our local PC. Once we set our source folder ready, we can connect our file Zilla to the remote server. Paste our FTP path to the host field. Then the username and password. Just press enter key or click on the quick connect. Here it started connecting the remote server using the FTP protocol. Now it's showing one security alert. Click OK button. Cool, here in the right hand side window we can see our remote server folder. By default we can see there is one HTML file present. This is to show the default web page in case someone try to access the website before our deployment. Let's see how this HTML file looks in the browser. Back to our Azure portal, overview section, we can see the application URL. Click on that URL, which will load our website with the default HTML file we just see. Now back to our FTP tool, and let's delete our HTML file which we are not going to use. Next step is to move our build folder content in our local PC to our remote folder, which is there in the Azure cloud. We can just drag and drop to copy-paste the content. Now we can see, each file by file it is copying to the remote server. We can see all our files are moved to the remote server. Now let's go to our website and refresh it. Wow, our first deployment is successful. Let's delete all our deployed files from the server and see the application is working or not. Yes, the application is down. Now we can use the second and the simplest option which is nothing but just drag and drop the build folder to the remote server without using any other external tools. Here we are going to use the build and tool which is provided by Azure. Back to our Test React app and Azure portal. Search for advanced tools. 
Click on the advanced tools and click on the go button. This will launch the kudo, where we will be able to browse the server folder and can drag and drop the files. For that, select CMD under debug console. Here we can see our server folder structure. Because we choose the ASP.NET runtime, while creating the app service, by default it chooses a Windows server with IIS to deploy the application. Those who uses the IIS knows that there will be site folder and a www root folder as our default website. Here also we can see the same folder structure. Now we require to deploy all our build folder in this www root folder. Let me drag and drop the entire files from my local PC. Yes, it copied all the files to remote server. Now let's refresh and see how the website. Cool, the website is loading the React application. Now, we will see the last, but not the least option CICD it. As I already mentioned, I have a separate detailed end-to-end -end video on how to deploy a React application to Azure using CICD it. I will mention it in the description box. Here, I will give you a high-level detail. For this we have to first push our source code to Azure repo. Then with the Azure DevOps build pipeline, we will create the build files and keep it in an artifact folder. And finally push the artifact file to the Azure app service. You can see the React.js deployment using Azure CI CD in the suggestion window. Okay guys. That's the end of this session. Thanks for watching. More exciting topics are on the way. Stay tuned.